The therapist told my parents at the time that I was at risk of being a pre-homosexual, of being... Mordechai Lovovitz is a gay social worker in New York. And there are things that they can do to stop me from turning gay. He founded an organization called Jewish Queer Youth, or JQY. I was hearing pain. I was hearing frustration. I was hearing shame. I was, the conversion therapy was actually causing them the anxiety and the trauma. Every day, Lovovitz hears horror stories about members who have undergone gay conversion therapy. It was stories like those that convinced the New Jersey legislature to pass a law banning the practice that has been called unscientific by some and child abuse by others. Reed Gusiora is a New Jersey state legislator. There's been many reported instances of, of uh, especially teenagers who go through the program, parents send them uh, to this program, they come out and they're still gay. Uh, but instead of building the child up, they tear them down and they um, devalue them. The so-called therapy has been condemned by the American Psychiatric Association, which states, quote, altering sexual orientation is not an appropriate goal of psychiatric treatment. New Jersey became the second state to ban gay conversion therapy in August 2013. It has been a law in California since the beginning of 2013, and it was recently upheld by the U.S. Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. And now New Jersey's law has also been legally challenged. While supporters say that the ban protects the civil rights of children, there are some religious groups that have filed suit, claiming that it abridges their First Amendment freedoms and violates parents' rights. This kind of a law is unprecedented in the sense that it puts the state in between the counselor and the client. Matt Staver is founder and chairman of Liberty Council, which is representing counselors and their clients in the New Jersey Appeal. From the counselor's standpoint, they have First Amendment free speech and also free exercise of religion. From the clients and the, particularly the parents' standpoints as well, we're looking at it from also a right to receive information and a right to free exercise of religion. So it really Assemblyman Gusiara disagrees. We don't mean to interfere with any religious uh, teachings or religious counseling. Uh, that can remain. But this is for a licensed psychologist or a psychiatrist should not be offering gay conversion therapy in this state. Staver and his clients see the case going to the highest court in the land. I think this kind of a case, though, has Supreme Court written all over it because it's never happened in the history of counseling where the state has told counselors that they can only offer one viewpoint. Pennsylvania and Ohio are considering similar legislation, and Liberty Council promises to file suit should any other state enact a ban. In Trent, New Jersey, this is Ed Alpern for the Lawyers.com channel.